this tutorial we're going to really start adding all these uh, layers of textures so the face is got these really yellows and reds and uh, liver spots moles and so forth so we're going to start scattering it start adding like really garish colors and then we'll dial it back and we'll start mixing it all together so the first thing is we want to really start working with uh, the redness and pull up your faces. This is why we spent a half hour the other day looking for uh, redness around the ears, redness around the eyes, on the cheeks, um, especially uh, around the mouth, some around the nose and so forth. So we're gonna start scattering uh, some redness on the face. It may look really bad, um, but we can also dial it back. So you can see uh, each person has different areas of where redness is. So this is why it's so critical to always look at your reference material. Typically you would have a second screen over to the left or to the right, or maybe three screens that you're always, always looking at reference material and making sure you have some sort of inspiration or stepping stone uh, for your project. So uh, we're gonna get back into uh, Substance Painter and right now all we've done is uh, create um, these different uh, layers here. This is the base uh, color and then we've used this other, we duplicated it, made the second color and uh, kind of reversed it and basically made like a dirt filter. All right, so we've created uh, using our ambient inclusion and creating kind of this. This is all on and off. Uh, and also we can also dial this stuff back. Uh, this is all procedural, all right? So what you think we're doing today, you may be like, whoa, this is way too heavy handed. This is where you're gonna be adding, adding, and then at the very end, we'll start tweaking and massaging uh, the opacities. And even just like in Photoshop, you can uh, multiply and do all these amazing things. Just, it's just like uh, Photoshop. That's why it says Adobe on it now. I guess that's why they've purchased it. So uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, now we're gonna do another fill color. We're gonna go up here uh, on, hopefully on top of that, let's get, it's like something else. Uh, put this on the very top and we're gonna go ahead and click on here. Uh, let's go down to our color, base color. All right, and we want kind of a, a a red, uh, again, this is all procedural. If you don't like that red, uh, we'll change it later. Uh, later. Uh, we're not doing any color picking or anything that, like that. You can, you can definitely do that down the road. Uh, there's a color picker here and you can uh, click on it and uh, get a, a reference shot or whatever. All right, so right now it's just kind of adding layer, layer, layer uh, and onto this. So we don't want this uh, completely uh, red. So we're gonna hit a uh, black mask on here and uh, definitely want to have your symmetry on. So if you see me painting here, we don't want anything uh, grotesque like that. We do want to look for our brushes. So right now uh, we have our library uh, open and it's just showing us everything. Uh, and we want to go down to our brushes. You can actually search things. So I want to uh, type in church. I'm using, not even using words anymore. Uh, we can use <laughs> the search feature and we're looking for uh, all these wonderful uh, different ways of uh, adding a surface to our character. All right, um, dirt one, dirt two. Again, this is uh, based on someone else's uh, tutorial uh, on how to um, start adding these layers and layers, but I'm trying to gear it towards our, our product here. All right, so you don't actually need this on unless you do want to paint directly uh, that way, that's fine. So uh, we're gonna go in here and just starting adding this red. So I have switched from my mouse, you can hear me clicking like uh, a crazy person, but now I'm moving to my tablet, which um, I'm just like you guys, not, not the best. So we're gonna start adding uh, some redness to the cheek. Uh, you can start uh, playing around with, uh, I'm using my alt and my mouth, and start adding this. And so if you get up close, uh, let's, you, let's zoom in, uh, you can see how that's scattering it onto the surface. So one of the things I should have probably told you is uh, on this we have, 
we have roughness, metal, uh, roughness, uh, normal, and height. All we want is actually color. Uh, I meant to say that earlier. All right, so we're just gonna go in here and start adding uh, these uh, colors to it. So I'm gonna, not gonna spend too much time, but uh, you guys are just gonna really start looking at your uh, your images, your support images, and keep looking. So I'm just gonna keep, and go really heavy. Don't worry about like, oh, this is looking really garish. You can play around with your uh, size of your brush. Also, if it's just getting too much, uh, you can work with intensity and flow, all that stuff. So uh, really quickly, I'm doing this very fast. So you guys get to see how to do uh, several of these layers. All right, so I'm just gonna, really heavy on the cheeks here. All right. Uh, we're just uh, adding this kind of, older people usually have a lot of uh, redness around the uh, nose. All right. It's gonna look garish, don't worry about it. We can uh, dial this back. We can also uh, smooth it out to uh, down the road. So pretty, pretty heavy handed here. All right. Again, look at your uh, material. I am not looking at material. All right, so we have the, the skin shaders on there. So you start absorbing this material. Again, you don't want to override that skin shader. You don't want these to bump up. Now, once we start doing, uh, we'll do a little bit of adding around the lips. All right. So redness will kind of follow those creases too. Um, just look at, maybe there's not much redness in here. There may be more yellow. So uh, depending on your character, uh, you're gonna look around. All right, so that may not be what we use, but we're gonna maybe dial it back, okay? Again, it's a, it's a combination of different colors of what our face does, all right? And I am just spending seconds on this. You guys are going to be spending a lot more. So if it's uh, too heavy, uh, you can go in and remove it too. You can uh, reverse uh, your uh, brush. All right, so I'm just gonna spend just a couple more minutes just uh, adding, oh, don't do that, uh, adding. All right, so if you ever did the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, boat tour, you can see uh, their faces are very garish uh, because they're in dark light. So sometimes uh, in the movie industry, they do really garish makeup depending on what the scene is. All right. Again, this is just one layer. Don't worry about if it looks like uh, they have smallpox or something like that. Just add uh, to it. And you, every so often you want to see, how, make sure you're putting material kind of, not all over, but in specific areas. So you want to look at your mask and so you can see I'm pretty light. So you probably want to go a little bit he heavier than that. And you can see, definitely do a lot around the ears. Uh, ears are very, 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 very red. So uh, work on that. I'm going to stop because this, this will be a very long, lengthy uh, video. Uh, but I, in the background, I'll keep working on this, uh, definitely work on the neck area, and always, always look at your reference material. Hopefully you have a lot more faces in this. Right here, this, uh, this lady has a lot of red in here. Uh, it's hard to see uh, if we were, took out all the red uh, in Photoshop that would help us uh, look at that image in a little different way. So. All right, I'm gonna stop it here. This is two uh, great tutorials for you guys today. Uh, if you get the skins on there, if you start getting the base uh, skin on there and then start getting on the red today, uh, that'd be a great achievement. Uh, and then uh, the next class, we'll start working on the five other layers and we'll stop, all right?